Hello, my name is Timon. And my name is Justin. Today we'll be talking about microphones and we'll be talking about the Shure SM57, both the history of microphones and how microphones work. The history of microphones. Did you know that the word microphone comes from the Greek word micro, meaning small, and phone, meaning voice? By 1883, it first appeared in the dictionary as an instrument by which sounds are intensified. Not only this, but did you know microphones were originally invented by several early inventors who decided to, to build primitive microphones? They were called transmitters. A German physicist, German Philipp Rees, first designed a sound transmitter. The next attempt was by Ile Grasch, who designed a liquid transmitter. After Gray, Alexander Graham Bell designed a transmitter for the first transmission of intelligent speech. By then, Hugh coined the modern term microphone. He continued then to demonstrate his transmitter by mounting it on a sound box containing insects whose scraping were then perceived to be amplified. That is a brief history of how microphones were created and then improved over the years. How microphones work. Basically, all microphones have a diaphragm. The diaphragm is a device that, when hit by sound waves, vibrates. The vibrations of the diaphragm are then translated into an electrical signal that is then compared to the variation of the sound wave. That is how the sound that you or an instrument makes transfers into a computer or into speakers. That is the basic understanding of how microphones work. The Shure SM57. The Shure SM57 is a common professional dynamic microphone. This microphone is often used as live reinforcement and studio recording applications. Not only this, it is also used as instruments that produce high sound pressure levels, such as snare drum and other percussion and electric guitar amplifiers. So the SM57 is primarily used for live instrument performances, but also very pop popular for vocals. Dynamic microphone. As you already know, the Shure SM57 is a dynamic microphone. A dynamic microphone is also referred to as a moving coil microphone. In relation to the moving coil microphone, a capsule is dynamic microphone. As you already know, the Shure SM57 is a dynamic microphone. A dynamic microphone is also referred to as a moving coil microphone. In relation to the moving coil microphone, a capsule is dynamic microphone. As you already know, the Shure SM57 is a dynamic microphone. A dynamic microphone is also referred to as a moving coil microphone. In relation to the moving coil microphone, a capsule is rather like a speaker in reverse. The coil part is a diaphragm and it has a coil attached that is suspended in the magnetic field. A diaphragm is a plate with a hole in the center or a ring that is placed on the axis of an optical instrument such as a microphone and that controls the amount of sound entering the instrument as said by dictionary.com. When the diaphragm vibrates, the coil creates an electrical current. This is an entirely passive circuit, as the magnet can be permanent tone, so no external power is required. Polar patterns. A dynamic microphone, like a SM57, has a sensitivity pattern called the cardroid pattern. The pattern comes in different shapes, like card-shaped or kidney-shaped. Every microphone has a line going through the center of it. This line is called the axis, and when you stand directly in front of the mic, you are said to be on axis. If you're at the side of the microphone, you would be said to be off axis. So, you can also change the sensitivity of a microphone, which also means that you can change the cardioid pattern. So now when you stand at the side of the mic, it will still pick up sounds if you have the mic on a high sensitivity level. Proximity effect. Although you can change the mic's polar patterns, you have to keep in mind that when you get too close to the mic, there will be a raise in the low frequencies. You call this the proximity effect. It will also make your voice sound really bad. That's why you usually have to stand back a little so your voice sounds a bit clearer. Now most artists like to sing close to the mic, so often there will be a pro proximity effect. To get rid of it, mics have something put into them called a low cut filter. The filter basically takes out the low frequencies that cause a proximity effect. This is Timon. And Justin. Today we talked about microphones and about the Shure SM57, both the history of microphones and how microphones work. Thank you for listening.